Hello YouTube, in this video I will be replacing the fuel pump on a 2017 Nissan Sentra. Before this video starts, don't forget to subscribe to the channel since this is an in-depth video and to watch more content. So where did I buy the parts? I ordered the parts at the dealership's website and I picked them up in person. The parts that you will need are the fuel pump and the fuel seal, which I'll explain where it goes later in the video. Remember to handle the pump with care since it's very fragile and contains many moving parts and cables that can be easily damaged. For this repair, I will only be using genuine Nissan parts. And you may be asking yourself, why buy genuine parts when you can purchase generic brands online for half the price? Well, the most obvious answer to that question is because the genuine parts tend to be more durable and are designed specifically for your car, as well as they come with warranty. Today, I am replacing the fuel pump on this Nissan Sentra at 158,000 miles since the fuel pump started malfunctioning at 140,000 miles. It still pumps gas, it's just that it doesn't measure the gas level accurately and it triggers a check engine light on my dashboard which it can prevent you from passing the yearly inspection. In other cases, a bad fuel pump can completely stop working or even keep you from passing the emissions test. So for this reason, stay tuned so that you can learn how to replace your own fuel pump and save hundreds of dollars. The symptoms of a faulty pump are the check engine light comes on while driving and the fuel gauge may not accurately display the fuel level. In addition, the codes P0181 and P0183 are two common codes for a bad pump. To start off, the rear seat must be completely removed from the car. This is very easy in the 2017 Sentra. We do so by lifting the left and right side so that the seat detaches from the body of the car. After that, we remove the seat belt buckles. After removing the seat, the lid to the fuel pump must be removed using a flathead screwdriver. The fuel pump can be seen after opening the lid but there is more that needs to be done before installing our new one. Also, don't forget to remove the gas cap to release any pressure inside the tank. This pump is easy to replace since it's very simple. It's a good idea to clean up the pump with some sort of cleaner before removing it. This is how my pump looked like before and this is how it looks after I cleaned it up. Now, to remove the steel ring, place a flathead screwdriver or preferably a chisel since they are heavier. Place the screwdriver in these spots I'm pointing to and hammer counterclockwise to remove the ring. To place the ring back in place, hammer clockwise. It's also important not to hammer these spots to avoid warping the ring and to maintain its proper fitment. After removing the steel ring, remove the electrical connector and by removing this connector, 
the fuel pump won't send fuel to the engine. By turning the car on, the engine burns the fuel left inside the fuel lines. The idea is to get rid of the gasoline left inside the lines before removing them. Now remove the fuel line by pushing the line against the pump and then pinching the transparent pins and this will release the fuel line. You can also place a rag to absorb any gasoline coming from the line. In this case, very little gasoline came out and this is the transparent pin that locks the line in place. We must set aside this pin because it will be reused when installing the new fuel pump, so don't just throw it away. Now that everything is off the pump, we can start removing the metal ring by hammering counterclockwise. This is the most time consuming step, especially if the ring has never been removed before. You can even use a vacuum to collect all the dirt and debris. Use the red plug from the new pump on the old pump to prevent gasoline leaking out during the removing step. So finally, after hammering for quite some time, I was able to remove the metal ring and one thing to note is that the flat side of the ring goes towards the bottom and the side with a protuberance goes towards the top. It's a good idea to vacuum the dirt away before removing the fuel pump. Remove the pump slowly and gently to avoid breaking parts that could sink to the bottom of the tank. 
also if you buy a fuel pump and you notice that the top is slightly tilted to one side that is completely normal since the pump gets compressed after it's installed Be careful at this point since the fuel is now exposed and it can be dangerous. This fuel pump came out with a broken support and one of the electrical cables was torn apart. Having worked for 158,000 miles, it's normal wear and tear. This is the old fuel pump seal and it's a good idea to clean the area, making sure the residue does not fall into the tank. When installing the fuel pump seal, make sure it doesn't touch the gas because it can expand with the gasoline. So now, the moment we have been waiting for. How to install the fuel pump on a 2017 Nissan Sentra. Install the pump slowly to avoid damaging its components and use the red plug to avoid gasoline leaks during the installation. Like I said before, it's completely normal if your pump is slightly tilted to one side because the pump gets compressed inside the fuel tank after being installed. Once in place, we must hold it down while installing the steel ring and finally hammer clockwise to lock it in place. It's easier to install the steel ring than removing it. Now we can reconnect the fuel line and electrical connector, but first we must install the transparent pin that I told you to save earlier in the video. This pump is very easy to work on because all you must do is push the lines back in place. Once the fuel pump is in place, start the engine and let it run to test out the new fuel pump and make sure everything is running smoothly and make sure there are no leaks coming from the fuel pump seal. I want to say that there is a lawn mower in the background and that is not the sound of the car or the pump. 
Now this is the real sound of the pump and the car. As you can hear, it's very quiet. So basically, use this time to look for leaks before installing the car seat. This fuel pump came out with a broken support and one of the electrical cables was torn apart. Having worked for 158,000 miles, it's normal wear and tear. Once everything is ok, reinstall the gas cap and then proceed to installing the car seat. How to clear the coats and check engine light after installing a new fuel pump. We can notice the check engine light still on even after installing the new pump. There are two ways to remove the coats that are triggering the check engine light. The first way is by using an OVD and deleting the coats that appear on the screen. The second way is by disconnecting the car's battery for a few minutes and that will reset the codes. After that is done, we can now see that the check engine light went away and also we can see the fuel level is different from the start of the video. This is a very detailed video that can save you hundreds of dollars on labor costs. The information is here and it's up to you if you want to take the advice. That concludes this video. I hope you find this helpful. Don't forget to like, subscribe for more content, and thank you for watching.